using the Imagely Lightroom plugin is just like creating a collection in Lightroom otherwise, except you're doing it in a publishing service. And what is really nice is that collections correlate to a next-gen gallery and a collection set correlates to a next-gen gallery album. What I mean by that is collection sets or next-gen's albums can hold multiple collections or galleries or multiple albums or collection sets. You can have an endless um, chain, an endless tree of albums and galleries inside of a collection set, but a collection only holds images and that's it. So I'm going to create some collection sets and some collections inside of one of my tests, uh, you know, publishing services that I've created. So to get started, I'm going to just select three photos and I'm going to right click on my collection, on my uh, publishing service, and I'm going to hit create published collection. And it's going to bring up a dialog box that lets me choose what I want to call it. I'm going to say client one. And now I'm actually going to include the selected photos. And what that's going to do is right away, it's going to make it with three photos in it. And you can see the three photos right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a collection set. So I also right click and hit create collection set. And I'm going to say this is called album test one. And now you can see I have a uh, album test one. It's a collection set, has the icon for a collection set. And I have a collection that I already created. So I'm going to drag that inside of my collection set. And now, as you can see, there's, an, uh, there's a, a structure to this. It's not just a straight down list of collections. Now, let me just show you real quick before I hit publish. I'm going to show you, here's another instance on another server. And you can see these are all different types of uh, collections and collection sets that I've been testing when uh, we were developing this plugin. And you can see there's a, just a wide range of, of styles. I have um, collection sets inside of collection sets and then collections inside of that and so on. So there's a whole wide range of different things um, going on in this, in this one publishing service. Let's go back to here. Now, when you are ready to... Um, You've created a bunch of different collections. Now let me actually create a couple more real quick. Let me just grab some from a wedding I recently photographed. And let's go down and just let's choose some of these. Okay. And let's go back to here. And I'm going to right now uh, right click on the album test one and I'm going to create another published collection. And you can see by default it already is set because I right clicked on album test one. It defaulted so it, for the uh, published collection to be a subset inside of the or inside of the collection set called album test one. And I'll call this the bride. And I'm not going to include selected photos so I can just keep going. Instead of it jumping back and forth, I'm going to choose some of these and I will create another one. I'll call it the groom. And let's um, just drag those in real quick. So I have some from brides and some from grooms. Now I have a collection set or a, a next gen album. And you can see here that it says publish at the top right. And if I go here, you can see just the individual collections or the galleries that we're about to publish. So if I hit publish, it's going to bring up a dialog up here, updating published collections. And it's um, going to basically right now at this moment, what Lightroom is doing is, or our, I should say what the Imagely Lightroom plugin is doing, is it is telling Lightroom to upload these photos via FTP, which you've already set up, to your website. It is done uploading through FTP the operation will actually change and it will open the, the Imagely app in the background. You will not see this actually happening, but the Imagely app will, will talk to your website and confirm that everything is uploaded. It will then tell um, the website to move the images from the temporary folder to the gallery, what the gallery should be named and so on and so forth. And then when it all is done, the screen on Lightroom will go from saying published to go to saying, um, you know, that it's been published. So, so here's an example. 
Here are three photos that I published on my website, and you can see that the publish button is no longer there, and now it says published photos. What that means is these have already been published, and if I want to republish them, I would have to right click and say mark to republish. If you make an edit to a photo, so let me open up another one right over here. So let's say I make an edit. Let's find one that I actually want to edit. Okay, so here's photos of my daughter and her toys. So let's say I want to edit this one and I go ahead and I just go to the develop module. I make some minor changes. I just cool it down a little bit and go back to the to the um, library module. You can see that now that photo went from published to mark modified photos for republish. That means I made some sort of edit and now they're ready for republishing. I can just hit the publish button again and it will run through the process.